And in the global technology race, semiconductor chips are considered the heart of all modern devices, from the smartphone I'm holding here to electric vehicles and even artificial intelligence systems. That's right. Now, while presiding over the second meeting of the National Steering Committee on Semiconductor Industry Development, Prime Minister Fat Ming Ching called for urgent and concerted efforts to independently design, manufacture, and test several essential semiconductor chips by no later than 2027. If this goal is achievable, what role do research and training institutions play in it? Let's find out in today's new line. But first, let's watch the following story. Vietnam is a key destination market for many semiconductor-based products. The Vietnam semiconductor market revenue reached 7.03 billion US dollars in 2024 and is projected to generate a revenue of 16.64 billion US dollars by 2033, expanding at a compound annual growth rate of 9.30% during the 2025-2033 period. This expansion is largely fueled by swift uptake of next-generation technologies like IoT, AI and 5G, coupled with growing consumer electronics demand and robust government stimulus. The Vietnam Semiconductor Industry Development Strategy to 2030 with a vision to 2050 points out key directions including semiconductor chips, specialized chips, the electronics industry and human resources development. To learn more about the role of research and training institutions in achieving these goals, we now connect with Associate Professor that's Dr. Huang Mengka, Rector of the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering at Hanoi University of Industry and one of the institutions prioritized for state budget investment in semiconductor laboratories. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today. So recently, the government has shown efforts to develop the semiconductor industry, uh, specifically as reflected in Decision 1018 and Resolution 57. So from your perspective, where does Vietnam stand in the global semiconductor landscape and how crucial okay, is so it? So thank you for having me. To be honest, uh, Vietnam started later than other countries in semiconductor industry. But the key is that we have started and we still have the chance to catch up. Semiconductors are the foundation of all digital industries. And with the global supply chains shifting, this is the golden opportunity for Vietnam to attract investment and access new technology. Looking ahead, if we master chip design, manufacturing and testing, we can build our own ecosystem, create a national brand, escape the middle income trap, and move toward sustainable development on the path to become a high-income nation by 2045. So what role do training and uh, research institutions such as Hanoi University of Industry play in implementing the party and state's policies on the strategy to develop semiconductor industry? Thank you for an interesting question. So let's say training and research institu institution play a vital role in carrying out the party and state's strategy for semiconductors. The semiconductor supply chain has many stages from design and manufacturing to packaging and testing. Each uh, training uh, institution, depending on its own strengths, decides to focus on one or a few of those stages. With our experience in engineering and technology training, we are proactive in education and research. But in semiconductors, training requires huge investments in equipment, software, as well as uh, high quality lecturers. The, uh, the government has also selected uh, Hanoi University of Industry as one of 18 Vietnamese universities to receive investment in a basic semiconductor laboratory expected to launch in 2026. In addition, uh, act activities such as supporting the training and professional development for lecturers, as well as uh, providing the scholarship for students in semiconductors, these supports give us a great opportunity to strengthen training and research capacity 
and to contribute to the success implementation of the national semiconductor strategy.